My name is Corey Humphrey and I started Flower City Pickers of Rochester, New York. We're a secular, all-inclusive group of 100% volunteers and we collect the leftover produce from the public market that would otherwise be thrown out. We sort the produce that we collect by hand um, into different boxes and then we categorize it into three different categories. Um, we sort into A, which is astonishing, B, which is blemished, and then C, which is critter food, um, which is also compost. The shelter food is A, and the stuff that is blemished, which is B produce, goes to places that will use it more immediately, like to homeless shelters. We work with about 20 different organizations. We also work with food pantries, uh, soup kitchens, halfway houses, pretty much anywhere that could use food. And then the seafood, goes to one of our volunteers, he has pigs. Um, there's also some local chickens in the area by my house that we feed also and get eggs in return. I originally come from Southwest Oklahoma, um, so near Texas. I come from a working class family um, that was very poor. Um, we got evicted from pretty much every house that we ever were in, so we were always hopping around. And we were homeless for a little while. So when I moved up to Rochester, um, it was really amazing to me, the public market, because I had never really been around anything like that, because in Oklahoma, it's Oklahoma, and you have to drive 30 minutes one way to get you know, to a Walmart, and that's your only option. There's not fresh food. You can't really grow stuff there. I started Flower City Pickers back when I was waiting to get heart surgery. Um, it was back in February that I got it, and January is when I started the group because um, I was getting cabin fever, I couldn't work, and um, was online way too much, and saw on Facebook that um, the city of Rochester bulldozed Sanctuary Village, which was a tent city um, under um, some bridges, and I wanted to help, and I didn't have any money to help, so I decided just to go to the public market and start asking the vendors and the farmers for food because um, I was always a frequent visitor of the public market and customer and could always walk around and see that there was food on the floor and um, decided to start picking it up. We need winter shelter because right now we're just under the tents and stuff and it's not going to be wonderful for our volunteers. We have five-year-olds volunteer up to, you know, over 80-year-olds that volunteer, and we just can't have our volunteers outside in these elements sorting this food. So we decided to have a GoFundMe and try to raise money to buy us an old school bus that we will repurpose for our use. We'll take out all the seats and put tables on either side so that we can essentially have kind of like a giant heated tent, which would be the bus. And then this bus would also double as a really huge visual reminder of our organization. The hardest part of um, volunteering with Flower City Pickers, um, at least for me, uh, being the founder and then also um, someone who is involved in all aspects of it, is making sure that the volunteers feel special. Um, following up and thanking everybody individually, remembering people's faces and their names, um, any special needs that they might have, and making sure that we are always all-inclusive. Definitely keeping the operation running is challenging and then making sure that people do know that they're appreciated and that their help does matter and every aspect, whether it's just saying thank you or if they came and volunteered or if they just shared something on Facebook or through email or talked to somebody somewhere and they found us, um, every little bit helps. And So if you're watching this and you see me and I'm running around all crazy, uh, know that I appreciate you and thank you. Please be conscious of your life and be conscious of your choices and understand that even if you don't have an action in something, that that decision to not take action is an action in itself. And to, you know, try to be conscious of food waste and 
your impact on your house, your neighborhood, your community, um, even at school, you know, like make sure that you're not walking by someone wasting something, you know, speak up. Always try to do better and be thankful of, you know, where you're at in life. It's just really um, so wonderful that people just help.